Hey everyone. So today we are looking at the temperament and behavior of the St. Bernard's. So I've put together a few clips of the dogs interacting with each other, with my kids, uh, and when we have uh, friends come over with their dogs. The temperament of St. Bernard's in terms of with children, uh, people is absolutely fantastic. They are the best dogs to have. They look after my kids, as you can see here with my youngest. They sit around with her whenever she's got food. They don't try and snatch it off of her, even though she will give him her food willingly. Uh, with my other daughter, as you'll see shortly, um, they are very loving to her and actually very protective as well if me and her are messing around you'll find that um lulu the the white one will get in the way of the two of us and she will jump up me in like a sort of way of telling me to sort of stop they are both absolutely fantastic with all the kids however there are a few things that we need to remember and we need to look at and that you'll see uh, within this, with this video itself, uh, obviously they are big. So, and in terms of weight, they weigh a lot more than what the children do. Uh, I believe that Lulu's about 55 kilo, and Horse is about 66 kilo. And to sort of put that into perspective, uh, I weigh about 10 and a half stone, and Horse weighs about 11 and a half at 66 kilo i believe so lulu's a little bit lighter than me and horse is a bit heavier than me so you've got to remember that that's like laying on your children if one of them was to knock them over and lay on them or anything like that you know so obviously they're big dogs they could knock over little children quite easily so this is one of the things that obviously you need to be considered uh in within the household um in terms of the dogs together, they um, will bounce around, they will jump, they will play. And that's another thing to watch and keep an eye on is because obviously when they are playing together, they are bumping into things. They are, you know, so with when they're in the living room, if they start doing that, we have to sort of kick them out because I don't really want them knocking over the telly. Um, you'll see that they do play. I didn't manage to get all the footage of the dogs playing that I wanted to. Every time I went to record, they seemed to stop. But I've got little bits and pieces that you can obviously see so you get an idea, and especially with when uh, our friend comes around with their dog, Lumi, you'll see that they're running up and down the garden. And so you've got to be mindful of um, kids but also yourself it's quite easy for these dogs to knock you flying uh, in terms of behaviors mm -hmm. they are I'm gonna say stubborn and so training within itself is very important I'm gonna do um, a small video uh, in a little while that will show different bits and, and pieces that they know and how good they can be with the retention of the training. The training is really important and you, you don't want uh, the St. Bernard to figure out how much they weigh and because once they do that, they can use their stubbornness and their weight against you. Trying to shift a 60 plus kilo dog is very difficult when they just plonk on the floor and it is impossible to move them afterwards. It just usually consists of bribing with some sort of treat and then you reward for doing what you need them to do. So this is what happens when you get home. We come in and we're bombarded by dogs. Ah, ah. Hello, good girl, good girl. Hello. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Hello. 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 
There we go. There you go. WrestleMania. Good girl. Good girl. Hello. Uh -uh. Sit down. Good girl. There we go. Come. Hey, you little wizard. Here's good girls. As well as you saw in uh, the video earlier, that um, when you are coming into the into the house and that they're seeing you like and they haven't seen you in that day or whatever, they they just get well too excited. So as you saw from that bit of footage, how excited they are when they come in to uh, greet you. They're very fast up towards you and obviously you can see Lulu jumps up as well. So this is why we have to be careful because their size and it does hurt if they run into your knees and stuff like that. It can really, really hurt. So you do need to be mindful of their size and their weight and, you know, thinking of safety as well as with the children. That's why they stay in that section until we come and greet them so we don't let the kids go in and see them straight away and we just we go in and we deal with them first uh, and then we just go from there and then the kids can come in and say hello when they've calmed down a bit because they do get excited and obviously they come charging towards you and they can easily knock you over so it's all these little bits and pieces that you need to think about uh, i'm sorry that uh, this took a little while to get out i've uh, been a bit busy and uh, hopefully the next one will come a bit sooner uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hope you got a little bit of insight into uh, how they are, especially with their size. And we look forward to seeing you next time. If you like the video, smash the thumbs up, give us a subscribe and yeah, thanks again. See you next time. Cheers guys.